Hi there. Let's pretend that this balloon is copyright law. Some people would like to do this to the scope and strength of copyright law. Other people think it would be better if this happened to copyright law. But does that expansion of how long copyright lasts help or hurt people like you? That's what we're here to talk about. I'm Courtney from New Media Rights, and I'm kind of sad that I don't have a balloon anymore. There are a ton of policy questions about copyright law that legislators, business people, and internet users like you debate about. One of the big questions is about the expansion of copyright laws. Like I've said before, some of the biggest lobbyists for expanding the copyright laws are gigantic copyright holders like Disney, Viacom, and movie studios. Some would say Disney's efforts to hold on to protection for Mickey Mouse is the main reason that copyright terms were changed from 56 years to the much longer term it is now. In fact, if you look at this graph, you can see every time Mickey Mouse is about to lose its protection when a law magically gets passed extending copyright terms again. But senators can't just go out and say, hey, we're going to change the laws because Disney wants us to. Now can they? That type of corporate payola might just get people so mad they might decide to occupy something. So what are the rationalizations and explanations that legislators use to rationalize longer copyright terms or argue for shorter ones? Let's talk about them. Oh, actually I lied. We're not going to talk talk. I'm going to say stuff and you just have to listen. That's how watching a video works. Sorry. Reason number one, increased life expectancy. When the Copyright Act of 1790 was established, the term for copyright was 28 years. This doesn't seem that long, but in 1800, the life expectancy was about 35. People just didn't live very long back then. There were a lot of wars and diseases. Back then, it was a lot easier to get mauled by a bear or eaten by one of those sea monsters that used to appear on maps. It makes sense. Nowadays, the life expectancy has doubled from what it was in 1790. but that doesn't quite explain why the terms of copyright protection are tripled what they were in 1790. Also, patents started with a term of 14 years, and after 220 years of lawmaking, they've only been extended six more years to make a 20-year term. Reason number two, it helps the economy. Every lawmaker wants to help the economy, right? People argue that extending the term of copyright allows media companies like Disney a longer time to create commercially successful products and we assume they'd be the experts at selling their own products. They argue this helps the economy and by association, everybody who lives in the United States. Artists and entrepreneurs get compensated for even longer, so they'll have even more of an incentive to keep making work. Reason number three, longer terms encourage artists to make more ambitious works. It makes sense that if someone could make money for 120 years off of their work, not just 28 years, they would consider being more ambitious with how much time and effort they put into their work. Moving on, these things may be true, but now let's hear the counter-argument from the other side. Counter-argument number one. The economy would be helped more if everyone, not just one copyright holder, could participate. Opponents of term extensions argue that the purpose of the Copyright Act is to encourage artistic creation in the United States. But long extensions make it so only one person can make a product instead of hundreds or thousands. It's like the difference between the amount of video content we see on TV compared to the amount on YouTube. By letting everyone have a chance to play, you get more people participating. Imagine someone in Topeka, Kansas made a Mickey Mouse movie, and it was so amazing that it enriched the lives of every child in the United States, inspiring them to greatness that they hadn't even dreamed of before. Due to copyright laws, that movie couldn't get made in the first place, and no one would get to see it. Counter-argument number two. Copyright laws are there to encourage cultural progress, not for copyright holders to get money. The Constitution actually gives a specific reason why we have copyright laws, and it has nothing to do with making money. It's all about encouraging scientific and cultural progress. And because copyrights keep getting extended, artists can't create as many derivative works as they'd like to. Sure, they can obtain a license, but even if they could afford to pay for one, they'd also have to track down the copyright holder, which can be really, really hard, depending on how old the original work is. Don't worry, I'll explain license in another video. 
Counter argument number three. Copyright extensions devalue private collecting because term limits are uncertain. Here's a real life example. One collector spent a lot of money collecting copyrighted works whose terms were about to end because he planned to re-release them himself. But then the Sonny Bono Act extended copyrights another 20 years. Ouch. See, there's no clear-cut answer to whether expanding copyrights is even a good thing or not. It helps some people, but it hurts others. Since we have to have long debates about copyright laws every day, we have to stock up on a lot of aspirin at New Media Rights just to avoid all the migraines. So feel free to donate to us to keep our medicine cabinet well stocked and to allow us to make more videos. You can donate on our YouTube channel or on our website, newmediarights.org. See you later. See you later. <laughs> that might be kind of sad. <laughs>